In an age where technology has bridged gaps, unveiling mysteries from every corner of the globe, there remain secrets that nations guard jealously. One such nation is North Korea, a land of enigmas and paradoxes. Yet beneath the shroud of state propaganda, there exist snapshots of reality that defy the official narrative. As we start this journey, we'll uncover 25 photos that North Korea would rather keep hidden from the world. Get ready to venture behind the veil and witness a side of North Korea you've never seen before. Number one, a startling glimpse, man eating grass. We often see North Korea through a lens of grand parades and towering buildings, yet a hidden reality lurks beyond these cityscapes. One such disturbing revelation was a photo of a man eating grass. This wasn't a dietary choice, it was out of desperation. While urban centers portray prosperity, rural areas depict a contrasting story of severe poverty. The grass-eating man symbolizes this vast disparity. While city life gleams, villages reel under deprivation. The government might showcase a thriving nation, but images like this unveil a darker truth. Such pictures shock the global community, revealing the extent of hunger in North Korea. It's more than just an image, it's a testament to the struggles many face daily. The government may wish to mask this, but the world now knows the hidden anguish of its citizens. Number 2. Border Patrol. The Gunship at the Ready. In the secretive land of North Korea, the extents to which the government goes to maintain its iron grip on its citizens is mind-boggling. Among the many photos that Pyongyang would rather the world not see, one stands out for its sheer audacity and chilling message. It captures the North Korean border, but this isn't a simple fence or wall. Instead, a gunship looms ominously, stationed and ready to act. This isn't a scene from a war zone, but a chilling day-to-day -day reality, a clear testament to the lengths the regime will go to prevent its citizens from seeking a life beyond its borders. The implications are clear. Attempting to escape can be fatal. This chilling portrayal is a stark reminder of the dangerous stakes that come with attempting to cross the border, emphasizing the desperation many North Koreans feel to seek a life free from the regime's clutches. Number 3. A Barrier of Fear – Electrified Barbed Wire Fences Deep within the confines of North Korea's guarded perimeter, an intricate network of electrified barbed wire fences stands tall a grim testament to the lengths the regime will go to keep its citizens in and foreign influences out. These fences are not just a physical deterrent, but symbolize the pervasive atmosphere of fear and control that the North Korean government exerts over its people. It's not merely about preventing escape. It's about sending a clear message. The outside world is dangerous, and the regime is the only protector. The electrification of these barriers adds another layer of terror. Touching them results in immediate electrocution, a harrowing fate that has befallen many desperate souls trying to flee. Number 4. The Hidden Horrors – Slave Labor Camps Deep within the concealed terrains of North Korea lies a grim secret. Hidden forced labor camps. These camps, also known as gulags, have seen thousands of political prisoners, ordinary citizens, and dissenters face unimaginable suffering for perceived acts of resistance against the regime. While North Korea vehemently denies their existence, testimonies from survivors and defectors paint a chilling picture. They describe overcrowded conditions, scant food supplies, and brutal punishments. Some prisoners are forced into back-breaking labor with no protective equipment, working from dawn until dusk. Meanwhile, others recall witnessing public executions meant to serve as a stern warning against rebellion. The chilling details are more than just tales. They're a testament to the regime's ruthless methods to suppress any form of dissent, a reality North Korea doesn't want the world to see. Number 5. The Struggle for Mobility – Terrible Transport In the heart of North Korea, transportation tells a tale of scarce resources and undeniable challenges that the ordinary citizen must face. While the world advances with high-speed trains, electric buses, and self-driven cars, North Korea paints a different picture. Public buses, often old and in deteriorating conditions, become the lifelines for many. However, with limited vehicles and fuel shortages, long serpentine queues at bus stops are a common sight, with people patiently waiting, sometimes for hours, just to get a ride. These aren't mere inconveniences. They are emblematic of deeper systemic issues. 
The lack of efficient public transportation not only hampers mobility, but also impacts the economy, as goods and labor cannot move swiftly. What's even more alarming is that these scenes of daily struggle are hidden from the world's view, masked behind grand parades and impressive edifices. But the truth lies in the waiting lines and weary eyes of the citizens. Number 6. Childhood Lost. Rampant Child Labor. In the heart of North Korea, a distressing picture unveils itself, presenting a stark contrast to the regime's grand narratives. Young children, with hands stained by dirt and sweat on their brows, can be seen toiling in fields, burdened with responsibilities much too heavy for their tender ages. Instead of classrooms and playgrounds, their daily lives revolve around strenuous work. The underlying economic pressures faced by families have forced them to forego the innocence of their children's childhood, pushing them into a world of hardship far too early. Such images are often kept hidden from the global view, with North Korea attempting to shield such revelations that speak volumes about the state's actual conditions. These photos not only reflect the hardships endured by these children, but also silently challenge the nation's portrayal of prosperity and progress. Number 7. Power and Pageantry – The Secret Female Army Amidst the vast expanse of North Korea's military landscape lies an enigmatic force – the Secret Female Army. While the world often associates military might with male soldiers, North Korea has a significant portion of its defense forces made up of women. These women are not just limited to desk roles or logistics, they are trained for combat, ready to defend their motherland. However, what's even more intriguing is their ceremonial role. Dressed in pristine uniforms, often seen in parades, they are the embodiment of discipline and dedication. These synchronized parades are not just about pageantry, but send a deeper message of unity, strength, and loyalty to the regime. But behind this facade of power and pageantry lies a deeper story. These women, while being showcased as symbols of strength, also hint at the gender dynamics and the roles women are assigned in North Korean society. Number 8. Risks in Construction – Unsafe Building Practices The hazards that construction workers endure in North Korea are alarming. The photographs capture a stark reality of builders precariously perched on incomplete high-rises, devoid of safety harnesses or protective gear. This not only reveals the negligence towards workers' safety, but is also emblematic of North Korea's developmental challenges. The country's push for rapid infrastructural advancement often overlooks essential safety standards, leading to perilous working conditions. The images counteract the regime's projection of strength and advancement by highlighting the inadequate safety measures, putting countless lives at risk daily. These photographs, if leaked, would challenge North Korea's narrative of a robust and thriving nation, showcasing instead the corners cut and the perils faced by the everyday citizen in the quest for national progress. Number 9. Worship in Stone – The Sacred Kim Il-sung Statue North Korea's reverence for its founder Kim Il-sung goes beyond mere respect. Statues of Kim Il-sung are scattered throughout the country, each one meticulously sculpted to immortalize the leader's image in stone. The most significant of these statues is the 22-meter-high bronze monument situated in Pyongyang. But there's more to these statues than meets the eye. There are stringent rules associated with them. Tourists and locals alike are forbidden from photographing these statues from behind. Each photo must capture the statue in its entirety without cropping out any part. This extreme measure ensures that the leader is always presented in a way that befits his revered status. The symbolism of these statues is multi-layered. They not only represent the enduring legacy of Kim Il-sung, but also serve as a constant reminder to North Koreans of the omnipresent watchful gaze of their leader, even years after his death. Number 10. The Unseen Homeless – Desperation on Benches North Korea, a nation often shrouded in mystery, guards its image fiercely. Yet beneath the facade of power and prosperity lies a hidden truth that starkly contrasts its projected image. Streets that are often paraded as symbols of advancement and progress hide a lesser-known reality, homelessness. Contrary to the narrative that the nation feeds the world, there exists a group of marginalized individuals who find solace on the very benches that decorate the city parks. They aren't just seeking a place to rest. 
They represent the unseen faces of economic struggle and social displacement. In a regime that boasts self-sufficiency and care for its citizens, the existence of homeless individuals reveals an underbelly of neglect. These citizens, left without shelter and often without hope, are a testament to the vast disparities that exist within the nation. Number 11. Forced Festivities, the Kim Jong-Gilia Festival. In the heart of North Korea, amidst the cold and rigid air, lies a vibrant event that seemingly contradicts the nation's somber tone. Every year, North Koreans are compelled to participate in the Kim Jong-Gilia Festival, a grandiose celebration dedicated to the birth of Kim Jong-il, the country's former supreme leader. However, beneath the surface of bright colors and festivities, there's a chilling narrative. This festival, named after the specially cultivated Kim Jong-Gilia flower, is not a genuine reflection of people's reverence, but a state-imposed mandate. Citizens, irrespective of their personal feelings, are obligated to partake and display unwavering admiration for the ruling Kim dynasty. It's not merely a celebration, but a meticulously crafted piece of propaganda, showcasing unity and adoration for the leaders. Yet the forced nature of this event raises questions about genuine loyalty versus survival instincts in a tightly controlled society. Number 12. Basic Living. Cisterns in Bathrooms. In the heart of North Korea, where grandeur is displayed with pomp and pride, one image stealthily captured unveils a startling reality. It showcases an everyday scene but speaks volumes about the nation's challenges, a simple bathroom cistern. It might seem unremarkable, but in the context of North Korea, it paints a narrative of life's hardships. The ordinary North Korean home often lacks proper plumbing infrastructure, a luxury most of the world takes for granted. Such basic amenities, like running water, are a scarcity. This image of a cistern in a bathroom, while mundane to many, is a sobering reminder of the daily struggles faced by ordinary citizens. While the urban elite may flaunt their privileges, these snapshots from homes highlight the vast disparity in living conditions. This carefully concealed image gives us a rare, unfiltered view into the stark contrasts of North Korean life, a side they'd rather keep hidden. Number 13. Elite's Paradise. Shopping Mall Exclusivity. In the heart of Pyongyang stands a gleaming edifice, a shopping mall that serves as a beacon of opulence in a city riddled with disparity. On entering, one is immediately struck by the grandeur, the polished marble floors, luxury boutiques, and high-end brands. Yet this mall is not for the average North Korean. It is a playground exclusively for the elite, those closely connected to the ruling regime. While the majority of the country grapples with scarcity and rations, this mall flaunts its well-stocked shelves, offering everything from imported chocolates to designer clothes. This startling contrast between the privileged few and the struggling masses is a carefully orchestrated narrative by the North Korean government. By keeping such luxury inaccessible to most and exclusive to a select few, the regime not only reinforces its control, but also perpetuates a stark social hierarchy, painting a picture far from the reality of its citizens' everyday lives. Number 14. A Deserted Show. The Empty Dolphinarium. Deep within the heart of Pyongyang lies a testament to North Korea's attempts to display modernity and wealth, the Dolphinarium. At first glance, it might seem like any other entertainment venue, promising aquatic shows and marine magic. However, as many visitors have reported, there's an eerie stillness that dominates its vast corridors. While state media depicts it as a bustling hub filled with locals and tourists reveling in dolphin performances, the reality is starkly different. Rows upon rows of empty seats greet the few visitors, highlighting the contrast between the regime's propaganda and the actual state of affairs. This deserted dolphinarium is not just a reflection of an entertainment venture gone wrong, but rather a symbol of North Korea's persistent effort to mask its struggles and create a veneer of prosperity and modernity for the outside world. Number 15. Staged Progress. Propaganda Computers. In an effort to portray a modern and progressive image to the world, North Korea has gone to great lengths, even if it meant staging scenes of advancement. One such effort is witnessed in their show of technological prowess. At first glance, one may be impressed by the seemingly high-tech computer labs and facilities in the nation. However, 
On closer inspection, many of these advanced computers are merely for show. They often run simplistic software or are not operational at all. Intended primarily for the eyes of tourists and international visitors, these computer labs serve as a facade, masking the vast technological gap that exists in the country compared to the rest of the world. Uh, we, we, we never, we never use the internet. This disparity is not just a matter of progress. It is a strategic move to control information and ensure the populace remains under the firm grip of the state's narrative, devoid of any external influence. Number 16. Military Dual Roles – Soldier's Life Beyond Defense In the heart of North Korea's military regime lies a startling revelation. Contrary to popular belief, not all soldiers are primed for combat. Many military personnel often find themselves juggling dual roles, responsibilities that stretch beyond the confines of defense. As one delves deeper into this realm, it becomes evident that the regime's soldiers are not just guardians of the nation, they are its builders and farmers too. Imagine a soldier, clad in military gear, working tirelessly in a farm, or laboring at a construction site using rudimentary tools, it's a life that seems worlds apart from the disciplined, rigorous training they undergo. These images, concealed from the world, capture the stark reality of a regime where every hand, regardless of its primary duty, contributes to nation-building. Such revelations challenge our understanding of North Korea's military structure, unveiling layers of complexity and resilience that the regime would rather keep hidden. Number 17. A Risky Slumber, Sleeping on Duty Deep within the secretive regime of North Korea, an image surfaced that sent shockwaves through international observers. A military officer, entrusted with the safety and security of the nation, was caught in a compromising position. He was fast asleep during his duty hours. It wasn't just the act of sleeping that was alarming, but the potential repercussions such negligence might entail. In a country known for its strict rules and harsh penalties, falling asleep on duty could be a grave offense. But what led to this moment? The demands placed upon North Korea's military are intense. Many soldiers are subjected to rigorous training sessions, extended working hours, and constant surveillance, which can lead to extreme exhaustion. The image thus not only highlights the severity of the regime's discipline, but also the immense pressure and fatigue faced by its soldiers, forced to push beyond their limits. Number 18. Posing with Power. Honoring the Kim Portraits. The Kim Dynasty has sculpted an unyielding image of authority within North Korea, embedding deep loyalty towards their leadership. This devotion is evident in the omnipresent portraits of the ruling Kim family in homes, offices, and public spaces. From childhood, North Koreans learned to venerate these images, embedding respect for the leaders in their psyche. Tourists often witness locals, especially children, posing diligently before these portraits. While appearing genuine, these displays of allegiance are often mandated, showcasing the regime's firm control over its citizens' emotions and actions. Such carefully choreographed reverence, though seemingly organic, underscores North Korea's meticulous design in preserving and propagating the sanctity of its leadership. Number 19. Underground Economy, North Korea's Gray Markets In the secluded realm of North Korea, there lies a mysterious and clandestine world. Beneath the facade of a self-sufficient nation emerges the thriving underground economy of North Korea's gray markets. Despite the regime's stringent controls on commerce and the official narrative of a self-reliant economy, the people have found ways to adapt and survive. The black markets have grown not out of rebellion, but sheer necessity. Here, basic essentials, forbidden foreign goods, and even snippets of global news circulate discreetly. While the state claims abundant provisions for its citizens, the bustling activity in these covert marketplaces paints a contrasting story of scarcity and the human spirit's resilience. With each whispered deal and discreet exchange, a parallel economy thrives, challenging the regime's ideological control. Number 20. Hunger. Pangs. Starving children. Deep within North Korea's borders lies a hidden truth that sharply contrasts the grandeur and opulence showcased in the capital. An alarming number of children grapple with the dire consequences of malnutrition. On the outskirts of the cities and in the remote corners of the countryside, 
Scenes of young children scouring for raw, uncooked corn or any available sustenance are a heart-wrenching testament to their desperate situation. While Pyongyang's towering skyscrapers and lavish parades might suggest prosperity, the stark reality is that the youngest citizens are paying a heavy price for the regime's failed promises and policies. Instead of a nation flourishing under its leadership, we find children, the future of North Korea, battling hunger every day, their small hands reaching out not for toys or books, but for a morsel of food. Number 21. In the dark, power outages and unreliable infrastructure. In the heart of North Korea, a stunning contradiction lurks beneath the surface. As the night falls, the grandeur of Pyongyang's skyline often plunges into darkness, revealing a nation grappling with frequent power outages. Contrary to the state's claims of prosperity and self-sufficiency, these blackouts unveil a truth of unreliable infrastructure and energy shortages. The sight of entire blocks without electricity, not for a few minutes but hours, paints a story of economic challenges and resource scarcity. While state-controlled media glorify the nation's progress, the ground realities highlight the vast gulf between the regime's propaganda and the common man's experience. Number 22. Roads Less Traveled. Unfamiliarity with Cars. In the secretive state of North Korea, where glimpses behind the curtain are rare, an intriguing observation emerges. Vast stretches of land with few cars on the roads. In stark contrast to bustling metropolises worldwide, North Korean rural areas present an almost post-apocalyptic scenario with minimal modern transportation. But the scarcity of vehicles is more than just an infrastructural shortcoming. It serves as a poignant reminder of the nation's isolation from global progress. In these very areas, a heartwarming yet startling scene is often witnessed. Children playing carefree on the roads, a manifestation of their sheer unfamiliarity with cars. Their innocence and playfulness, set against such a desolate backdrop, not only highlights their resilience, but also the regime's desire to keep its population uninformed and shielded from the advancements of the outside world. Number 23. Hidden Descent. Underground Acts of Defiance. In the heart of North Korea, beneath the all-seeing eye of the regime, lies an undercurrent of dissent, camouflaged but persistent. The state's narrative, portraying a harmonious, prosperous nation, is contradicted by subtle acts of resistance. Graffiti on obscure walls, underground literature, whispered conversations. Each one is a tiny but powerful blow against a seemingly indomitable narrative. Possessing foreign films, music, or literature is not just taboo, it's life-threatening. Yet smuggled DVDs and USB sticks with world news find their way into homes, serving as silent beacons of rebellion. These hidden acts of defiance, though perilous, are vital. Number 24. Religious Repression. Secretive Spiritual Gatherings. In the heart of North Korea, where the regime's power seems absolute, a glimmer of defiance emerges, revealing humanity's indomitable spirit. The nation, known for its suppression of religious practices, particularly Christianity, hides a secret that the government doesn't want you to see. Beneath this ironclad facade, underground religious movements thrive. Risking everything, from their safety to their very lives, believers gather in concealed locations, their hymns are whispered, sermons are shared in hushed tones, and faith is quietly celebrated. These secretive spiritual gatherings aren't just acts of worship, they are bold assertions of hope and resilience against the backdrop of oppression. Despite the pervasive dangers of imprisonment or worse, these clandestine meetings symbolize the human spirit's yearning for connection, hope, and the freedom to believe. Number 25. Infrastructure crumbling. The reality of decaying roads and old cars. The last revelation on our list showcases a glaring contrast to North Korea's portrayal of progress and prosperity. As we journey through, the evidence is in the roads beneath our feet. Pothole-riddled streets and antiquated vehicles give an immediate sense of the nation's economic battles. For a country that prides itself on its self-sufficiency, the crumbling infrastructure paints a very different narrative. Citizens navigate their way daily on these decaying roads, with dilapidated cars that bear witness to the economic hardships and limited access to global resources. The lack of maintenance not only poses dangers to its people, but also symbolizes a broader decay, 
challenging the regime's grandiose representation. While the skyscrapers of Pyongyang may glisten in the sun, it's the broken roads and old cars that tell a more genuine tale. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.